Welcome back to CBS News. I'm Nikki Batiste. Search and rescue teams say they are using all available resources at their disposal to recover the missing submersible 900 miles off the coast of Cape Cod, Massachusetts. Five people are on board the vessel. It went missing during an expedition to the Titanic's wreckage site over the weekend. Multiple Canadian aircraft reported hearing underwater noises within the search zone last night and again today. Officials estimate the vessel could run out of oxygen at at some point tomorrow morning. However, they remain hopeful with the rescue efforts. This is a search and rescue mission, 100%. We are smack dab in the middle of search and rescue and, uh, and uh, we'll continue to put every available asset that we have in an effort to, to find the Titan and the crew members. Heather Gillis joins us now. She is a journalist with our partners at the Canadian Broadcasting Corporation. Heather, good to see you. Thanks for joining us. What is the latest on the search and rescue efforts in, in Canada there. Yeah, well, as you said, those noises, they were a glimmer of hope early this morning. Uh, and yesterday in the search for the Titan, searchers reported underwater banging noises in the search area early this morning and yesterday. Those sounds discovered by Canadian P-3 flights. Uh, but the U.S. Coast Guard saying the source of that sound still inconclusive and still no sign of Titan at this hour or the five people who are inside. Now, I asked OceanGate what they thought of the development, and OceanGate says they can't give any information about that underwater noise, what it could be. Uh, meanwhile, the U.S. Coast Guard also says they have five assets searching the sea now, a total of 10 over the next 24 to 48 hours, and they've searched a surface area that is twice the size of Connecticut. And they've gone down as far as 2.5 miles deep in the ocean. So if you just think about that, it's a massive 3D search area on surface and below the water. Now, many assets rushing to the area to try to join in this search, including French ROV experts who departed here in St. John's today, French research vessel also en route, and they have a state-of-the-art ROV on board that can reach uh, very far depths down into the ocean. Uh, and this morning, the U.S. Coast Guard also informed us that more ships arrived on the scene uh, this morning, including some Canadian assets, the Canadian Coast Guard ship the John Cabot that has side scanning sonar uh, and the ships including the Scandi Vinland and Atlantic Merlin are in the ocean and they are doing a, a search in a grid pattern that seems to be uh, tightly concentrated on one area. Of course, equipment arriving at the St. John's International Airport including C-17s from the U.S. Air Force and the harbor uh, here has been a buzz in St. John's. Heather, we've heard a lot about the oxygen supply on board, that they had 96 hours of oxygen. What other survival mechanisms do they have? Food, water, any idea? Yeah, well, the Coast Guard just said moments ago that they had limited rations on board uh, with respect to other types of life support. Uh, it's unclear at this hour what else may be there uh, to help them. But there have been concerns uh, mounting about Titan because it doesn't have any certification or regulatory approvals. Um, and uh, that's because the company has said on its website that it's innovative and it's outside the existing industry paradigm. So on its website, OceanGate uh, basically said they do have safety equipment on board, like real-time hull monitoring. Uh, still, 38 experts uh, have warned Ocean Quest, uh, Ocean Gate, excuse me, uh, uh, about their concerns. Uh, and they're saying that the submersible uh, couldn't operate in Canadian or U.S. waters without the approval of the Coast Guard. Uh, but in international waters where it is now, it's a different story. And there is no law actually requiring submersibles to be certified, though most that do go to those depths, according to those experts that we've spoken to today, uh, are certified. Uh, anyway, like you said, time running out less than 24 hours of oxygen uh, is expected to be left on that tiny sub with the five people inside. And the Coast Guard says uh, it is not giving up. It is still at this hour a search and rescue mission. Heather, the story has had wide ranging international interest. What are you hearing from Canadians you're speaking with? 
Uh, well, uh, you know, there's so much fasc fascination from everyone around the world. Uh, the lure of the Titanic uh, has grabbed the attention of just so many people. The world's media has descended on St. John's, including the BBC, CNN, Fox. I'm talking to you here from St. John's now. Uh, so the international spotlight is absolutely on this story and something that people on the street are also talking about. If you go into the grocery store or any sort of public building, you can hear people speaking about it. So uh, all eyes on this story. Yeah, and hopeful for a rescue. Heather Gillis, thanks for joining us.